Hello Hammer Campers! As you can probably tell from the growth on my face, I've just spent some time overnighting in Dee Dee's new super light sleep system. I've got the top rigged up this time, sorry about last time. It was necessary this time because it was torrential rain the whole time. I've got the bug net, also necessary because this place is swarming with midges. And obviously the hammock, you can't sleep without one of those. As well as the new DD hammock underquilt to keep me warm. So, what are my thoughts? To be honest, I was worried about sleeping in this. So worried in fact that I brought my jungle hammock and set that up as well. I was worried because this is the first DD hammock um, that requires a diagonal lay to get comfy. The travel hammock and the jungle hammock, which are the previous ones I've owned, Dee Dee recommend that you string them quite taut and that you basically sleep head to toe in them. You don't, you don't need much of a diagonal lay. Cut to the chase, it took me, the first time I got in this hammock, it took me about three hours to find a comfortable laying position. I think I was fighting the diagonal at first. I was, I was thinking, I don't want to be going too diagonal, but after a while of tossing and turning and twisting about, it just clicks and you find it. And actually, it is quite an extreme it's almost a 45 degree angle over the center line and it just it just clicks like that and you're like oh that's it I feel comfortable my back feels supported everything's great uh, yeah so after that sleeping in it was not a problem I could sleep on my back and I could sleep on my side as well which which is what I like to do the top was really easy to set up I'm used to the extra large top which is a bit more burdensome um, but it does allow me to to set up a sort of porch area and whatnot. This one, it's a decent size, big enough to keep you dry. It slings up in an A-frame really quickly and really easily. So, no problems there whatsoever. The mosquito nets, or the midgy nets in this case, because they're everywhere, probably lets it down for me. It's not ideal. I'm used to the expansive space that you get inside the travel hammock or the jungle hammock. And here, it's a lot harder to get that space. The net hangs quite low. I try tightening this internal ridge line twice and it still didn't seem to make much difference. I will try again. It's not as if it's lying on your face and suffocating you or anything, but there's just not a lot of space. This is great for sleeping in, but if you want to hang out in it and wait out a rainstorm, there's not a lot of room to read a book and play with your phone and whatnot. Speaking of which, playing with my phone is how I test the success of a midget net in keeping the insect out. Wait till it gets dark. Turn the phone on, any insects are going to be attracted to that light. Normally I have no problem at all. In this one there was one or two little blighters that got in. I mean it's not it's not the end of the world, I mean it's it's a good net. What I'd really like to see is just something some tabs on the top there so I can suspend it from, from the top ridge line or from a tree and just give it a little more height. That'll cure it for me, basically. I demonstrated in my unboxing video just how quick and easy this is to set up. However, it actually takes longer to set this up than it does to set up the jungle hammock. You know, in that huge snakeskin that I've got. Because once you remove that snakeskin and put the arches in, that's it, done for the jungle hammock. Whereas this one, you've got to string up the hammock, then string up the bridge line, then string up the net. So it actually, although it is quick and easy, it takes longer than, than I'm used to. And I'm a lazy bugger, so I've already set up a snakeskin on the end there, so I can whip this in a snakeskin. And I think I've got another spare one at home, which I'll be putting the top in, just to make things quick. It will be really, really, really quick and super light. Uh, I'm just wondering if it'll still fit in that action pack if I do like that. I'm wondering how it'll pack up. So we'll check that when I break down. Staying warm, which is always important in a hammock. I'm going to struggle more with this one than with others. Simply for the reason that that diagonal lay that's required for a comfy sleep in this hammock precludes the use of my expert sin mat. So once that's out, that's that's a nice cushiony warm layer of air that I'm not getting anymore. So this hammock more than any of the others needs the underquilt in order to keep you warm. And this underquilt did a good job of keeping me warm. However, the underquilt when you string it up, it has more of a a u-shape to it that I think would be suited more to the travel hammock and the jungle hammock. The minute you start laying diagonally in this, well, <laughs> the underquilt can't quite cover you. Either your head or your toes or your feet are sticking out at the bottom. Uh, and after some experimentation, 
I decided to go with my head out because I can wear a hat and a hood on my sleeping bag and keep my head warm whereas I only had the one pair of toasty warm socks with me and that wasn't enough. Overall I'm really impressed. It is light, it is easy to carry, I can imagine hiking quite a distance with this and stringing it up and getting a nice comfy sleep. It will work best in hot weather because then you can dispense with the underquilt. Although I find certainly in Britain that you need an underquilt regardless of the season so maybe not but even the underquilt is light and I've shown you on, the, on previous videos how easy it is to attach to that action pack. So all in all it's a lot lighter and more comfy and easy to carry than my other setups. So yeah I like it, it's good. Just a quick heads up, this is how small it packs down with the snakeskin. So that's the mosquito net and the hammock in there, wrapped in a snakeskin to make it easier to set up. Obviously it doesn't look quite as small as the two individual parcels, but it will still pack away into the action pack. I think it'll squish into this front pocket actually. Yep, it's gonna fit in there just nice. Okay, so that's that away in there. Still leaving room for my summer sleeping bag in the middle and a pocket for the top and now I've got a pocket for something else as well. So that's ideal for me, I'm definitely keeping that. Later. Sorry, there's midges everywhere. Um, yeah, there's one there. Bloody midges everywhere. 